Wow how beautiful you are, the work of thy hand is unimaginable. I love you so much God, everything you made glorified thee. The tree. The moon and the beauty. The stars. The rivers. Your presence is everywhere. Even the darkness speak of your glory, and your greatness. What is human, that you are begging them to obey you? A world from you will destroy them trillion times, and recreate them trillion times, be thou glorified, for loving them so much. I have come to conclusion that, I will worship you till the end of my life. Thank you Jesus, I love you so much. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends, ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you, henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his lord doth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit and, that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father, in my name he may give it you, these things I command you, that ye love one another, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, if ye were of the world the world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also, but all these things will they do unto you, for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin, he that hateth me hateth my father, also if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. I love you Jesus, I will follow you till the end of my life. Thank you Jesus. Good evening sir. Good evening how are you? I'm fine, my father said I should come, and tell you that there will be meeting tomorrow by 2 p.m. Okay no problem, I will be there, but that will be after I come back from church. Okay I will let him know. Good night sir. Good night, greet your father for me. I will. I'm tired of seating here, what are we waiting for, let the meeting start. Please be patient, one of our members is not here. See I don't understand why we should be waiting for Mr. Peter, we should proceed with, or without him, who the did he think he is, why should we wait for him? Please calm down, he told me they have church activity, but he promised to join us soon. They have church activity, therefore we should be waiting for him, if you don't have what to do, I have what I'm doing. So continue the meeting, or I will leave here now. Oh here he comes. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Hey Mr. Peter, or whatever you are called, is too much for you. Who do you think you are? Because you suddenly repented, no one should hear from you again, why must you keep us waiting? But I have apologized. Don't tell me that, you wicked man, you take us for granted, because you now know Jesus, you think we don't have work to do. Who do you think you are talking to? You are no longer afraid of me, how dare you talk to me like that, you used to tremble before me then, is it because I am a child of God, because you think I cannot do you anything. Thoughts your business, whether you are following Jesus or not, is not my concern, but don't keep us waiting next time, you are warned. Is it me you are warning? Thoughts okay, please calm down. Chai this boy of yesterday insulted me, because he think I'm a child of God. No, 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 I will not let it go. I will show him I am still me. I am going to throw away my Bible and deal with him. He thinks because I have given my life to Jesus, therefore I cannot do anything, but I am going to surprise him. I am going to show him I am still me. Jesus I am sorry, I could not continue following you. They no longer fear me because, I have given my life to you. People now talk to me anyhow, but I could not take that again. I will deal with them until they begin to tremble before me. What is the gain of being great, if people around you can't fear you? No they must fear me. By the time I'm through with him today, he will know I'm still the same Peter, and then learn to fear me. Me that used to tear lion into two, with a bare hand, and carry elephant with one hand, 
even spirit himself, trembled before me, because they know what I'm capable of doing. Now I decided to follow Jesus, Amir, Gaston of yesterday insulting me, his bear has started disturbing him, he now believed I could not do him anything. Oh here you are, today I will remind you who I am, in case you have forgotten. Stay away from me, if you don't want to die. So you are still talking. Have you forgotten that I am the lion, and you have the audacity to insult me? How dare you? So you came to my house to fight me. You will see me fight today. Jesus, Jesus. No, stand up, let us fight. Why are you fainting? If you are a lion, I am a tiger. Jesus please forgive me, I just want them to fear me, I'm sorry. Do you fear me? If you say you love me, then take up your cross and follow me. Cross is not sweet, but bitter. Cross is endurance. Cross is taking shame. Cross is suffering for my sake. Cross is disconnect yourself from world. Cross says no to sin. Cross is patient. Cross is pain. Cross is humiliation. Cross is insult. Cross is rejection. Cross bearer is worthless. Cross bearer has no right. Cross is you being accused falsely. A cross bearer is hated. Cross bearer is without respect. Cross is without value. Cross bearer has no regard. Cross has no pride. I bear it all for your sake. If you say you love me, you must do the same. When you follow Jesus, you will no longer be the same. Your old self will be dead. You will become a new creature, hating sin and obeying God. Obeying commandment of God is the secret of staying within his love. There are times when some people doubt if God really loves them. They want to know the secret of enjoying God's love and having his favor. At times, when they see how God blesses and favor their fellow, they wonder why they are not enjoying such favor. Why are they not having speedy answers to prayer? It is that God is partial? The answer is obviously no. If you are going to stay in God's love and enjoy his loving care and favor, then you must keep his commandment. What commandment does God want you to keep in order to continue to enjoy his love and favor? It is very simple. It is to love him absolutely and to love your neighbors as yourselves. If you love God, you will obey him. And if you love your neighbors, you will not hurt them. Now go and carry your cross, and follow me. Thank you Jesus. Oh you woke up, I thought you are dead. Now continue, let's finish it up. I'm sorry, forgive me. I said continue, don't you want to fight again? Please forgive me. Nonsense. Thank you sir. What have come over him, is now a changed man. That is you knowing, and loving Jesus, take up your cross and follow him. If you're not carrying cross then you do not know him, nor love him. Remember he bear it first, and make it easy for you, and me, so no excuse for man. How do you fare in keeping these commandment? Are there things, or people you love more than God, that make you disobey, and displease him? Set things right from today, make up your mind to love God absolutely, and obey him in everything and you will see how he will continue to lavish his love on you. Thanks for watching. And please, subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.